The best 3D printers deliver precision, speed, and detail. But with so many models from the likes of Creality, Anycubic, and Eloq, it can be difficult to know which 3D printer is best for you. To help you find the right model, we have listed the top six 3D printers and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. And if I'm able to get any discounts or coupon codes, I'll include those for you as well. Now, let's get started. Number 6. Soval SV07 It seems like everyone is talking about super speedy 3D printers these days. But what if you can't afford the latest and greatest Core XY? No worries, because Soval has your back. The company took a solid Ender-style bed slinger with a dual Z-axis and a Volcano-style hot end, slapped a massive fan on it, and gave it clipper. The result is a very loud, a very fast, and very affordable 3D printer for $339. The SV07 cruises at 250 mm per second, but can hit 500 mm per second in draft mode. Acceleration rates aren't listed, but Clipper has pegged it at 8,000 mm per second, which is way faster than most bed slingers can handle. This is possible because the SV07 has Clipper's input shaping routine to cancel out the vibrations. We printed a perfect speed benchy in 22 minutes using its default settings, as well as several very nice prints. And because it has a direct drive, the printer can even handle TPU when slowed down. The SV07 is a great example of how Clipper can be seamlessly added to any printer. Previously, Clipper was strictly an aftermarket upgrade requiring a Raspberry Pi to handle the computations. Rather than stuff an expensive Pi or similar board inside the machine, Soval swapped its normal touchscreen for a Clipper pad. The pad handles all the extra work and gives you an easy-to-navigate 5-inch touchscreen with fluid. Number 5. Creality Ender 3 V2 Neo 3D Printer The Creality Ender 3 V2 3D Printer has the price tag of a kid-oriented 3D printer, but the capabilities of a much more advanced one. A fully open-sourced printer, the Ender 3 V2 allows users to upload any type of design they want, so it can be used for printing anything from toy figurines to functional hardware. The printer can be fully heated and ready to use within five minutes of startup time. And should it lose power during a print, it has an automatic resumption feature. This can allow you to switch the printer off overnight or when you need to leave home, and also helps prevent the loss of a partial print job during an accidental outage. There's a good deal of assembly involved when the Ender 3B2 first arrives, but any decently handy adult will be able to take it on. Creality states the company offers a lifetime of 24-hour-a-day technical service, so you can always reach out for help if you need to. Number 4. Anycubic Cobra 2 Among the things we look for in an entry-level 3D printer are a low price, ease of setup and use, largely problem-free operation, and a solid print quality. The Anycubic Cobra 2 ticks off all these boxes, plus it's one of the fastest 3D printers we've tested. It lists at just $279 and is easy to use, too, with a unique extruder made to print as fast as possible. For software, it works with the popular open-source Cura program we've seen with numerous other 3D printers. But it also comes with the Prusa Slicer app, with tons of editing options for new and advanced users. This Anycubic printer is great for newbies thanks to its bargain price, easy setup, and fast operation. Although its output in our test was nearly misprint-free, print quality was unspectacular, with a detailing that makes it a less-than-optimal choice for intermediate or expert users. Still, it's a fine, low-risk first platform for those getting their feet wet in 3D printing. Number 3. AnchorMake M5 Another newcomer brand, AnchorMake, is the offshoot of established charging gadget maker Anchor. The AnchorMake M5 is its first market offering. The M5 does lots of things well. It's easy to set up, has super fast print speeds, and has some eye-catching features. The M5 gets extra consideration as the video and customer support for setting up, replacing parts, and running the machine are second to none. This would be a fantastic beginner printer for that reason alone, if not for the mid-to-high-end price tag. 
Some of the features admittedly need a little polish, such as the clunky proprietary slicer and AI print fail detection. But there's so much potential here that we're itching to see how things get patched via firmware. The sky's the limit with this brand. We will watch its future upgrades with much interest. Number 2. Anycubic Photon M3 Premium The Anycubic Photon M3 Premium was rated as the best resin 3D printer we've tested. It's the sharpest, clearest resin printer that we've ever used, thanks to the 8K LCD and new Anycubic Light Turbo 2.0 system. With its large print volume, built-in dual air purifiers, fast printing speeds, and large resin tag, the Photon M3 Premium is a must-have. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi functionality was not ready during testing, but should be available soon. The Anycubic Photon M3 Premium is an excellent choice for your next 3D printer, whether you're printing full-sized models or tabletop miniature gaming pieces. Number 1. Creality K1 the entire 3D printing community has fallen in love with high-speed printers, and Creality's new flagship, the K1, is looking to win you over. In clear response to the competition, Creality has introduced a speedy, fully enclosed Core XY machine. It boasts a maximum print speed of 600 mm per second paired with an acceleration rate of 20,000 mm per second. It can knock out a speed benchy in 15 minutes with good quality, and its normal print speed is around five times faster than old school bed slingers. The K1 is retailing at $599, the same price as Bamboo Labs Open Frame P1P. How does it compare? Well, in our testing, the K1 is just as fast as both the P1P and P1S with a better interface and the ability to avoid unreliable cloud printing by using a USB stick or your private LAN. The K1 is a Core XY machine, a speedy style that Creality hasn't tried since the ill-fated Ender 7. This machine is twice as fast and with the help of Clipper's input shaping can produce excellent quality at speed. It has an all-metal hot end with a bespoke volcano-style nozzle a Sprite Direct Drive extruder, and an enclosure for handling temperature-sensitive material like ABS and ASA. It's one of the few plug-and-play 3D printers on the market, arriving 99.5% assembled. All you need to do is unbox and unpack the printer. And like its rifle at Bamboo Labs, it can calibrate itself. And there you have it, folks, a comprehensive rundown of the top six 3D printers that are rocking the market right now.